Apple Monitor 3, really dirty. Been in the garage for more than 10 years. So I'm gonna open it up, do a visual inspection, look for any leaky caps, cracks, problems, clean the plastic, and then uh, maybe, if all looks good, we'll plug it in and see if it works. See one screw right here, and one down in the handle space. I don't see, there's a couple of screws on the bottom, but I usually assume those are holding the board in. Screw. Yeah, this is attached to the front plastic. Here just needed to be slid to the side to unhook. So now this can be washed. Doesn't look too terrible. There's not a lot of dust inside. I'm instinctively wary around these high voltage circuits, but I know this unit hasn't been powered on in more than 10 years, so there's no charge left on it anywhere. I'm gonna try to take the whole board out of here. And uh, to do that, I'm gonna have to unhook the high voltage line. Ordinarily, you'd wanna discharge that. So if this thing had not been turned off for 10 years, and you thought there might be a charge on it, you hook your clip to ground. Stick a lead up underneath there and touch. Ordinarily, you'd hear a loud crack as the uh, charge arced across to the tip of this. It won't wait until you actually touch it. It's going to arc and it's going to make a loud pop. Need some needle nose pliers, I think, to squeeze those connectors together. Such a tiny little picture tube. Connected. That. that should come loose now, too. It's just stuck on those plastic posts. Last but not least, pull the plug off the picture tube. Oh, and disconnect the coil assembly. Which does not disconnect. There's no plug. I'm gonna have to desolder those wires. The wires running up to the deflecting coils are wire wrapped on there not soldered so I don't have a wire wrapping tool I got the deflection coils disconnected so the board is loose and the next step is going to be to take the picture tube out I just have to take out four screws and lift it out of the mount loosen that spring take these screws out
I understand my CRT operation correctly. This distributes a negative charge, oh no, the positive charge onto the picture tube itself. Which is glass, but it's also metal coated. This is where you want to be extremely careful. Any uh, shock against the neck and the whole tube can break open. This picture tube has a wire mesh in front of it, which is an anti-glare. It's covered in dust. I'm going to go ahead and wash that as well. And we'll clean the surface of the picture tube as well. And put this down in a soft, comfy chair. And then we'll take the case plastic and give it a good wash. I'm almost tempted to retro bright it, but I don't think I will. see any obvious problems on the circuit board. No leaky caps, no burnt resistors. About ready to put the picture tube back in. I go over the glass one last time sure it's completely clean. I've got the wire mesh anti-glare screen laid out in there ahead of time and then we just need to make sure we've got it right side up. Get these reconnected. There's a spring. It goes over here. This one goes here, I believe. Let's see what it looks like from the front. I don't have a wire wrapping tool, so my plan is to just solder these on. Soldering will be a lot easier, and uh, I'm going to have to uh, cut off a lot of this excess wire.
Everything is reconnected. Our switch is off. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And hit the power switch. Oh, power strip. We got a power LED. Wait for the tube to warm up. Go ahead and turn the computer on. See if it provides a video. Set. We have a picture. Contrast. Success. Cleaned up and still functional. A bit of struggling to get that back on there. But the controls are protruding through, cord in place. Brightness control here. That's overdrive. That looks good. Contrast control. Then we have vertical hold and vertical size. Vertical hold is good. Vertical size. Let's see what the extent of the screen is. Oh. Oh. Kernel okay.